Okay. Let me uh, go ahead and load up. Okay, so Lurt posted a vessel on the World of Warships forums about a, basically a battle carrier. It's, it's like, it's got, I guess, eight guns from the, nine guns from the Yamato all along the hull, a single hull with runways. I'm not sure if um, this version of switch it over make sure it's broadcasting or recording problem this version of warship gunner 2 has that but we will try we will try so it's a battle carrier which is bow half battleship half carrier looks like we only have three let's see what this looks like that's not it we might not be able to find the hole properly yeah these these look like ice type we might have to get like oh oh is this it Sort of. Mm, not quite. Is there another one? Oh, this looks pretty, pretty fast. I guess we're just gonna have to use gigantic battle carrier and only build the front part. I mean, that's a pretty big runway, so let's go ahead and do that. It's gonna be probably just the front half is gonna look like what we want and the back half is going to look completely weird. Let's go ahead and design that. Um, first of all, the weapons. Obviously, we're going to try and put all the Yamato guns we can on this. It's the main guns. The thing about carriers normally is they can't carry these large caliber weapons. Uh, this is a 100 centimeter gun for those of you who haven't seen it before. 75 calibers. This thing is huge. <laughs> look at the look at the profile but we're not going to use that we're going to go ahead and add the Yamato guns which are I think 45.6 45.7 um, I don't think calibers really matter um, we'll just do 55 caliber and because we can't fit all the guns that were originally on it we're just going to switch to four barrels that'll be realistic I'll do one can I even put it on the flight deck I can put it on the flight deck. Never mind, we might be able to do this. So it's got five guns fore and four guns aft. Ooh, it's going to be pretty tight. Got to raise it up. One more. It's pretty high up. Uh, okay. Uh... I'm going to have to turn it around. I'm going to have to turn this run, guys. Sorry. Let's raise it up a tad so we can put another one right beneath it. That's going to be our five. And in the back, I don't know if we can put it all the way. Oh, we can. We can put it quite far back. It's close enough. Uh, there's one. We're probably going to get really close to the tonnage limit really quick. <laughs> Two. We're going to need some stuff for the superstructure, guys. So I think this is going to be the last one we can place. In fact, we might probably have to just take this gun, raise it, turn it around, and call that a day. Yeah, we're going to have to do that. That will give us enough space because this, I don't think we have a hole that can go that big. It's a seven, okay, so that one had, I think, nine, 27. This one has 24. It's close enough. Close enough, guys. Um, I'm probably going to need the the forward bridge. Obviously, it's going to have to be a Japanese bridge because it's a Japanese. Oh, wow. I didn't realize you could do carrier bridges. Oh, wow. I, I guess you can't do carrier bridges here. I don't know why. I guess uh, it allows you for both, but for some reason, because it's a battle carrier, it doesn't let you use the carrier bridge. Okay. So let's see. 
this one looks like. Hmm. It it could be it. It could definitely pass for it. I don't see anything with purge on this though. Well, we'll just go, we'll just use this one. That that looks right. Oh, there's seven guns. 28. That's perfect. One more gun than the original designs. Um, we're obviously gonna need an aft bridge, even though normally we don't need it. What the heck is this? Oh. <laughs> So I noticed that this design has three bridges. I'm pretty sure we can't fit three bridges on. We're gonna try and get as close to, to it as we can. What does this look like? Yeah, that's not pretty big. Is there like a super bridge? I know that the, okay. We'll just go ahead and use the best Japanese bridge. And we're probably gonna need one more purge. Um, what we're probably gonna do is remove this, this gun on the deck just because it's just such a big, piece um, engine wise um, I would assume that the standard would involve some sort of boilers but obviously because we're we're you know screw reality right uh, fusion reactors we can do nuclear or fusion uh, neither of these requires purge so we're gonna put eight fusion reactors and we're going to use the best steam turbine science has to offer. Combine them into squares. Okay. Boilers are going to be right, right here. Yeah, that, that'll allow us to... Oh, wow. We're going to put them all the way back here. It looks like it's just the front guns are so low. We'll put them right underneath the turrets here. Um... Purge. We don't. Oh, we don't have purge. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put some elevators on this thing. Okay, so this thing had six elevators. I don't think we're gonna need that much. We'll put an elevator on the f mm, right here. These just make aircraft service faster. They don't actually show up on deck. I don't think. I think side elevators might, but uh, whatever. That's, there we go. Okay, next up, do we need any other structures? Catapults. I assume we would have catapults. We're just gonna put a few of them here. Let's just say two on each side. I'm not even sure if it models them properly. <laughs> okay, so four catapults, I think is the max. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> How much aircraft can this hold? 20 planes. Obviously, in the name of realism, we're going to go ahead and use the best planes Japan can manufacture these days. It's not going to be F 22A Raptor. Actually, this is an American plane. Uh, what? Here we go. Sort. Oh, sort. Show. Oh, we can get VTOLs. Where are the VTOLs? We can totally put Sea Harriers on board. But you know what? We're gonna go ahead and use the best planes we can get. Oh. We're gonna go ahead and get some interceptors of the duck variety. These these are clearly realistic World War II era top secret aircraft. We're gonna get four of those. We're gonna get four duck fighters, obviously also made by uh, Japan in secret. Bombers. Clearly. Um, we're probably only going to get two scouts. Yeah. These are, you know, accurate. Um, I guess we, we need something a little... Let's just say we're, we're made at J uh, Japan development. So we're also going to get some... Uh, See. I don't know if I can sort. Is this sorted? Yeah, this looks like it's sorted by nation, so that might be good. This is British. Here we go. I-32 Arawashi. That definitely looks like an F-15. Uh, bunch of Zero models. 
Ah. Go away, NVIDIA. Might be a fighter? Here we go. Shindens. I don't think you can build these. Give me a second to close that stupid dialogue. Shindens. Our fighters. Okay, so that's our fighter group. We got four of each, and we got two spaces left. Um, you know what? Let's see what other Japanese bombers we got. D4, Y5. Oh man, these are ancient. An Osprey? That's not an Osprey, but okay. What the heck is that? I've never seen that plane before. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna go ahead and increase our armament of duck fighters to six. And we're only gonna have one fighter group. Good enough for me. I don't even know if the Shindens are gonna take off in bad weather. Uh, we're obviously gonna have to go back back to uh, weapon development. So we have a bunch of elevators, resting gears. Uh, we obviously need AA of some sort. Um, this should be a little interesting. We're not going to use anything overpowered like that. We're going to just go ahead and use, you know what, 40 millimeter machine guns and quads. Let's see how this works. I don't even know where we can put these things. Right on the deck. Oh. Okay. Man, it's going to suck for these planes if they, you know, like, go off course. There's a lot of guns on this too. It looks like it's about like a hundred emplacements or something all along the edge. Okay. I, I don't think I can do anything with the stern. We're just gonna put all the 40s on the edge so they get good firing arcs. <clears throat> see, and then we have a bunch of the smaller dual type. Let me see if it's the high, I think it's the high angle guns. 127. I think these are the ones we're looking for. Secondary artillery. Um, let's go ahead and 55 cal. Throw them everywhere. Along the center. That's realistic. And luckily they don't have a huge uh, profile either. I think that's good. Um, Is there anything else I'm missing? We have machine guns. We have primary guns. Let's see. We obviously don't have a second bridge and purge because, um, I mean, we can, oh, we can put smokestacks. Here we go. Japanese smokestacks. That's exotic. That's pretty exotic too. Let's see. I'm just looking for one of those that, might be that one. You can just throw it on. That looks a little thin. They all look a little thin. I think four is the one we're looking for. Or is it five? I guess we'll just do five. We'll just put two of them in the middle. We should be able to. It's a little tight. Hmm. Can we move the bridge forward? Is that it? Yeah, that's it for the bridge. Can we move this front end forward? Nope. Okay, that that looks pretty close. It's it's not perfectly accurate. I'm sorry, Alert. There's only so much space. I think this is probably the length of the Amino. We could lower the size of the guns, but I'm pretty sure you don't want that. Um, so, 24 guns. Okay. Um, close enough. Structures or systems. Looks like I only get six systems, which is in line for battleships. It's totally balanced. We aren't going to use any shields. Or ammo assemblers. We might use something for for reloads, just because funny. Do we really need? What is? Yeah, let's get some max reload efficiency. I guess forty four percent is as good as we're gonna get until we can find auto reload system Y. Uh, defense systems. Or pro we 
we're probably just going to go ahead and, um, let's see, skip on jamming, skip on fire, skip on pumps. Yeah, we're not getting any of these. We're just getting more attack systems. Um, what is fire control? Cruise control. Oh, that's that's okay. Auto countermeasures one. We'll go ahead and put that in. We might actually. We'll just put the max auto countermeasures in here. Man, I wish there were. A, there? Oh, there we go. Auto countermeasures three. We might put in some more defensive weapons. I'll see what I can find. Um, do we need radar? What do we got here? Reduces dispersion and adjusts aiming coordinates. Targets are hit without the need to aim precisely. Uh, I don't think we need auto fire. I think that'll be terrifying. We don't need a lock on. I think this one will just allow me to actually see um, stuff. And obviously we need steering systems. Um, speed rises dramatically. Hmm. There's a lot of good things here. I don't know what we need though. We're going to go ahead and call this Lurp boat really quick. We're going to have to salvage some parts really quick as well. This is going to be called... Lurp boat. I hate using lowercase because it's obviously based on Japanese uh, character set and too lazy to scroll down. It's Lurp boat. change flag. Oh, we do have the, the Japanese Navy flag. We're not going to use that. We're going to go ahead and use rubber ducks. Alright, we're going to try and salvage stuff from other ships. Let's see. There's the auto reload system I've been looking for. Oh, there's remove all systems too. Let's see, well, let's see what's on the shark. Uh, that's fine. Oops, let's see. Yeah, this one's one of my uh, you just cruisers. Let me go ahead and remove all this. All right, I think we have enough for alert boat again. Let's go back to alert boat systems. We're gonna go ahead and add those crazy things that we're missing for steering. I don't know where Kita is. Were we missing an attack system down here? Nope. There's a defense system. Who knows? Okay, let's go back one more time. Sorry, guys. Um, to another vessel. Maybe it's on my boss rush ship. Problem. Oh, there we go. There's all of our important stuff. Even these ambo assemblers here. Let's see. Maybe the Mirai has it? There's some other stuff in here. Man, the only problem with this game is that until you find research for some things, you just don't get um, you don't get all the systems in unlimited quantities. So you have to do this weird look around, find everything. Maybe Los Angeles has 
Oh my gosh, the sub goes 86 knots, so 40 underwater. Alright, um... Let's go finally get back to Lurp Boat. Okay, so... We know we have to get the best auto-reload. Yeah, there we go. We got two of those. We need a uh, steering. Uh, also, the game speed is capped at 64.6 knots. Even if you can go, um, even if you uh, can get go faster than that. So what we're gonna do after this, we're gonna remove some of the nuclear or the fusion engines because as long as you're going 64.6, extra engines don't help you at all. Uh, so we need this. We're gonna go ahead and break the speed cap by using steering mods. That one looks good. I think I just need something with just improved steering. There we go. Actually, is there a mod that actually purely increases steering? Bow thrusters. We'll just go ahead and keep that. Okay, so we had all the weapons set up. I'm going to move... this down there. I guess we can get, I don't know, is there another weapon you can do? Main guns? I don't know if these lower caliber guns down here. These are obviously 8 inch guns. They can engage air targets. So you can see actually all these guns I think uh, that can't be right. I think what it means for air is that it means that it can hit an air target. But if they're not auto, they can't actually kill them. 140. These look familiar. We'll put a few of these on. Everyone's favorite. Can I even put them anywhere? I don't know where I can put them. Maybe I'll, I'll put them on this. Yeah, right here. There we go. We got two of those. Okay, armor. This is probably really heavy. We're gonna go ahead and put some 46 centimeter plating, and obviously the thing we have remaining is to handle the engine. Let's see. Um, we can probably start deleting the nuclear. There we go. We need one more fusion reactor for. And that should allow us to get the max speed. Okay. Um, I don't think we can fit any other weapons in here. Possibly. Let's see what we got here. We got 406 millimeter Gatling guns. I don't think we're putting that on there. Can you even get multiple barrels of this? No, it's just a really big gun. Confirmed. Um, machine guns, we're at 40 millimeters, do these Sea Whiz pop on? Where do these pop on? Yeah, they require to be on the decks at all times. Obviously we're not going to put those on. I don't think there's anything else in the Rapid. 88 millimeter revolving guns, high velocity, these are our new tech. High angle guns, we already put on the, all those rockets. You know what? We're going to put on an illumination. Oh, we have MLRS, little baby launchers, anti sub rockets. Oh, those are hedgehogs. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. That, I didn't realize they had models for that. We're probably just going to use the. What's the signal flare? I don't know what the signal flare did. I think it did something special where it just pulled um, ships over. The illumination flare, for those of you who've played this before, actually does stuff. I'm going to yeah, sit it right there. It makes your ship bright at night. That's why you have spotlights and stuff. Um, I think there's one more weapon. Yeah, well, that's fine. One more weapon. Missiles. Probably not going to do any of this. We have plenty of missiles we can add on. I'll probably build a missile ship after this. 
Optical... Well, yeah, all these are lasers. For those of you who have not seen it, there's a... I don't see the wave guns here. Maybe this can't handle it. Um, GPG? Yeah, these are... I don't see the wave guns here. High-tech weapons, that's where it's at. High-tech weapons includes old-school cannons. The dispersion on this is 4,800 <laughs> 4,800 units. I think that's 4,800 meters. You can sink submarines with them because they fire solid metal cannonballs. I've never <laughs> used this. Um, there's also the flamethrowers everyone loves. Obviously, HE spam. Um, tower railgun. This thing. There's some really cool weapons in here. The photon gun fires a giant beam that just blows things up. Plasma gun is like a guided... Plasma railguns, obviously, stuff like that. Then there's the wave guns that you've seen, maybe. They are basically the stuff that Ballish, Space Battleship Yamato has. So it looks like we're all done for weapons. We're going to go ahead and end this. That's our lerp boat that we promised for lerp, and we're going to take it out for a spin. Uh, let's see. I know there's a mission where we fight a fight a. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. It's gonna take me a while. Let's see. Oh, I can see the briefing. Oh yeah, you can see the maps here. Okay, that's not the one I want. There's an iceberg carrier. There, you actually fight uh, Habakkuk here. I think this is it. Let's see if this is the right one. It's just really hard to get the map icons without actually going into the briefing. So, Sure, we'll, we'll take this one. This one looks like it's an anti-ship weapon, or anti-ship fight. We're going to go ahead and use one. We're going to pick Brawn. And use Lurk Boat. Let's, actually, let's check our vessel stats really quick. Very nice stats. <laughs> Rank B offense, which is kind of sad for a ship. Rank A anti-air, rank B armor, rank C response to command, rank A mobility. It's a B-level ship for alert boat. All right, let's take it out for a spin. All hands alert. Airborne units attack. Secondary objective added. So it looks like they take off from just the the left runway. I guess they land on the right one. Full speed ahead. Uh, it's close enough. I'm sure Lurt won't complain that his uh, his carrier is launching the best Japanese fighters we have to to offer. I still don't know how to determine how far I can lock on. I think these guns actually have a physical range. Oh look, our duck ships are totally killing something over there. They must. Oh, there's the fleet. These are realistic levels of cannon fire from a uh, Japanese battleship. I don't know what's going on. Oh no! Our deck has been damaged, we can't launch aircraft. Oh yeah, we, we do have vision, so let's see. That's yeah, a little easier to s yeah. Four thousand. Yeah, I think we should probably purchase <laughs> dispersion upgrades for this. Um, it's relatively accurate and realistically speaking, probably what the Japanese would have done with their ship. I honestly have no idea. Oh, there's also a limit to how many shells you can fire. You can see how many planes there are in the air. Uh, yeah, you can see the planes here are just getting totally mowed down. There's just a lot of stuff happening. There's giant bombers. 
I don't think you can fix deck damage. I think that's the only one that you can't fix. Yeah, I'm definitely locking onto a plane by accident. Ooh. That's a lot of 456 millimeter rounds. You know what? I think there's only one way to sell this, is just to drive right up to them. Uh, I'm probably not going to play through this whole thing because this ship Actually, I think around this tier wouldn't be sufficient, and obviously we can see that the rounds are not working. You can go about 100 knots with the speed boost. Well, at this range, we're pretty accurate. This is this is par for course. I don't think Lert really has has to imagine the ship anymore. I think we've accurately portrayed it. It's also got a decent turn rate for its sh ship type. Yep, this is a great fleet. Apparently I can also shoot at aircraft. I am actually shooting at the aircraft with 18 inch guns. You know what, we're switched to the uh, heavy guns. I think I can actually control the guns. Yeah, I can actually individually control the A guns. Okay, well that was fun. Can I hit this thing? I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and repair the runway. So my planes can land. I don't know what I think Yeah, it looks like the Shinden's died already. It's a it's a tragedy, but <laughs> I don't think anyone was expecting them to survive close contact the enemy compared to these duck based aircraft. Let's go ahead and pull the planes back and go to town this next fleet. Oh wow, they literally don't use the other runway, it's just the design. These are some of the best carrier landers ever. They actually try to line up too, I think. Okay, I know there's a fleet around here somewhere. There it is! You can't control where the fleet attacked or the planes attack unless you get a laser designator. Also, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but <laughs> the controller is very, very excited. Well, I, I, I think we can establish that this ship would probably have allowed Japan to win World War II had it been created. Wow, we finished it. So, yeah, I, I don't know what to call this ship. I'm just going to keep calling it Lert Boat. But Lert Boat seems to have been a successful uh, test of uh, Japanese military power had they decided to build a super battle carrier. So, congratulations, Lert. You have successfully created an awesome design for a Warship Gunner 2 ship. Um... I guess we can call this World of Watch Ships Episode 2. Um, not, I'm not doing a schedule or anything, but I te technically it is a, a watch ship, so we've gone ahead and created a watch ship based on Lert's blueprints for a really large battleship. Anyways, that's it for this episode of, I guess, World of Watch Ships. Uh, see you next time. Please submit design <laughs> ideas, and for the ones that are interesting, I'll try and, and build them. Um, for... As to what I'm expecting for the uh, designs, I'm looking for something more unique than just say like just naming a ship, uh, like the Iowa, for example. That doesn't that doesn't help me at all. I can build an Iowa pretty easily. I'm looking for something weird like you know like what if the Iowa only had flamethrowers or Gatling guns or railguns? Give me something 
interesting. I've gone ahead and uh, gone through most of the weapons you can go through. There's also torpedoes, obviously, but those aren't available on battleships. So anything you can think of, surprise me. Maybe we'll make something cool. Um, one of the things I, I, I will say I want to really do is put a lot of missiles on something. So if you can think of something that's a really cool ship design that would benefit from missiles, let me know. Uh, anyways, uh, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.